Thank you. Sit down before I take up an offering. I am neither a gambler nor better, but who could have brought this crowd together except Coretta? I'm going to behave. <laughs> Lord have mercy. <laughs> uh, how marvelous that presidents and governors come to mourn and praise, but in the morning, Will words become deeds that meet needs? <laughs> Leave me alone, Shopton. Shut up, Jesse. Uh, let me get. I've been asked to recognize the board of directors of Southern Christian Leadership Conference and President Steele, who are here. Would you stand? I understand you. Thank you very much. <laughs> Mr. Coretta was the first first lady of SCLC. What a family reunion. Rosa and Martin were reminiscing. They'd just begun to talk. When Martin seemed not to listen, he started to walk. The wind had whispered in his ear, I believe somebody is almost here. <laughs> Excuse me, Rosa. Martin said as he did depart, his soul was on fire. He just couldn't wait. His spirit leaped with joy as he moved toward the pearly gates. <laughs> glory, glory, hallelujah. And after 40 years, almost 40 years, together at last, together at last, thank God Almighty. Together at last. Thank you, Coretta. Didn't she carry her grief with dignity? Her growing influence with humility? She secured his seed, nurtured his nobility. She declared humanity's worth, invented their vision, his and hers, for peace in all the earth. She opposed discrimination based on race. She frowned on homophobia. And gender bias she rejected on his face. She summoned the nations to steady war no more. She embraced the oneness of the human family from show to show. Excuse me, Maya. She extended Martin's message against poverty, racism, and war. She deplored the terror inflicted by our smart bums on missions way afar. We know now there were no weapons of mass destruction over there. But Coretta knew, and we know, that there are weapons of misdirection right down here. Millions without health insurance. Poverty abounds. For war, billions more. 
but no more for the poor. Well, Coretta had harsh critics, some no one could please, but she paid them no mind. She kept speaking for the least of these. Now about through, as we get old or so I'm told, we listen in to heaven like the prophets of old. I heard Martin and Coretta say, do us a favor, Joe. Those four little children I spoke of in 63, they're fine adults now, as all can see. They already know, but tell them again. We love them so dear. Assure them we'll always be near their troubles to bless and sanctify to them their deepest distress. Tell them we believe in them as we know you do. We know their faith in God and their love for each other will see them through. Assure them at the end of the tunnel awaits God's light and we are confident that they will always strive for the right. Tell them don't forget to remember that we are as near as their prayer and never afar and we can rest in peace because they know who and whose they are. What a family reunion. Thank you, Lord. Just the other day, I thought I heard you say, Coretta, my child, come on home. You've earned your rest. Your body is weary. You've done your best. Her witness and character always strong, her spirit a melody from heaven's song, her beauty warm like the rays of the sun. Good night, my sister. Well done. Well done. <laughs>